that time of year again, back to school. And as promised from last week, this week we're doing a back to school vlog. In anticipation of getting the kids back to school all summer long, I'm encouraging them to clean out their closets and to clean out their dressers. And then I also help them so we can clean out things that they no longer want or the things they have grown out of or the things they never wore that are still quality items that we could donate. Get all those things out of the closets and out of the drawers. We have several bags of items to donate. Um, I even threw a couple things in of my own. Um, shoes, pants, shirts, coats. It's all in there. We just need to make the effort to go drop them off at a church or a Goodwill. So throughout the year, not just the summer, I have a hunter-gatherer mentality where if I see something cute on sale or something that's just a really good price, it may be a little bit bigger, the kids can grow into it, I snag it up and I put it away for a rainy day or for whenever they can wear it. Because of that, I had plenty of stuff for Alec. Um, I really can't do that for Bella anymore because she is grown and she is her own person and she wants to shop herself. And uh, she doesn't want to shop in the kids section anymore. She wants to uh, shop in the ladies section. So um, we've made exception for the past couple years for her to do that. So we don't have a lot of things that we've gathered throughout the year that she can grow into because uh, she turns her nose up at it because I picked it out. So we always allow her to go shopping in store for her things. Um, we went shopping at the outlet mall yesterday for Bella and with that same mentality if there's something on sale it's a really good price and maybe it's a little bigger we'll just get it and you can grow into it so she went to American Eagle she wanted leggings or comfy clothes um, she wanted a jean skirt but she wasn't able to find one however I found this classic jean skirt ah, shoots everything in the store was $9.99 and below, so I'm pretty sure, I don't have my receipt, I'm pretty sure this was not even $10. And um, it's a size two, but it's classic, it's not distressed, um, and this can come in handy for her in the future. So besides hitting up periodic sales throughout the year, I do a lot of shopping online, and we do some shopping in store. Um, school supply list, they come out every year. Uh, for Bella's school last year I bought all the supplies and she didn't even use them so I didn't even worry about her this year but Alec is heading into kindergarten and he had like a supply list where it's like a shareable like you donate 30 tubes of glue and three packs of crayons and and a ream of white paper like those kind of things so um, I ordered all that stuff online just to make it easier. Everything that Alec needs was on his supply list, is here. It was under 50 bucks. Um, I'm happy to help out any teacher that needs supplies and um, hopefully they use all this stuff. And then besides getting supplies and clothes and shoes and book bags and lunch boxes, we headed to Costco uh, this week and we bought a lot of like snacks to store for lunches. So we'll have them on hand. And then um, as we move closer to the school year starting, we have two more weeks, uh, we'll, we'll go grocery shopping and we'll get like the fruits and the veggies and the protein stuff, the fresh stuff so it doesn't go bad. Uh, but of course, when you're at Costco storing up for the school year, there's lots of peanut butter and lots of Nutella and lots of snacks and chips and trail mix. And you know, when you bring all this stuff home, it gives you an opportunity to clean out your pantry. So I was busy doing that this morning, taking out old stuff that we hadn't used, expired stuff. Um, yeah, and now the pantry is nice and organized and pretty and clean. Let's get into what we got for the kids. So for me, growing up, sorry mom, but all the kids in school would every year have a new book bag. 
I never got a new book bag every school year, so it's very important for me that my kids have that. So, uh, we got book bags this year. However, however, there was a stop in that uh, when Bella's school announced that no book bags were going to be allowed for whatever reasons. Um, and I was like, oh geez, how are kids gonna take their stuff to school? How are they gonna get their lunch to school? How are they gonna ride their bikes to school? How are they gonna walk to school? If they don't have a book bag to carry all this stuff. Um, so I sort of came up with like a little, a little solution. And that solution was a binder that zips and has a little holder and she can do whatever she needs to do. There's all kinds of little zippers, this little thing where she can put books inside. Let's see what else is in here. You know, your classic binder little pockets for your post-its and your pencils and stuff and then she even has like an accordion folder for sh where she can divide up her her class and then of course you know plenty of room for paper and then other things like i know in middle school things happen for the for the ladies and uh you don't want to have any embarrassing situations going on so she even has room to put like a little sanitary bag in here if she needs it to like discreetly go to the bathroom if that goes down this year. TMI. A lot of parents complained about the no book bag rule so then the principal decided okay they can have book bags but they have to stay in their lockers. So I took Bella to the outlet mall and she picked out the perfect book bag for her and then earlier in the year with kindergarten on my mind I picked up Alec this cute little sloth book bag. It's that Skip Hop brand, and I think I got this at Barnes & Noble, but I'm pretty sure you can get it everywhere. I asked for a new lunch bag this year, and one of her friends at her um, school back in San Diego had this packet brand, and it's like a bag that you freeze every night so everything stays cold and it's nice and deep. Um, I got this from Zoo Lily, by the way, but I'm pretty sure you can get these at Target or Walmart or whatever. I don't know how this is going to work for us. We do have her old lunchbox, but like cleaning it out every day and making sure that it's getting in the freezer at nighttime when everyone's busy with school and ballet and working and maintaining a household. Will this make it into the freezer every night for the next day? I'm not sure, but we'll try and this is what she wanted, so that's what we got. Oh yeah, and talking about school lunch. I have these. These are the Bento Kid boxes. Okay, I have three because like I said, <laughs> well you guys know before, when I, Paul and I were both doing the active duty thing and commuting and taking care of kids and taking care of the house, you know all that important stuff. Um, it's kind of hard, you know, washing something every night to get it ready for the next day. I like to prepare ahead, so I bought three just so I'd always have one on the ready. Uh, maybe one in the dishwasher and, and one being used. But these are great. They're like the perfect size for a kindergartner, and I would say Bella used these up to the fourth grade. I think she could have used it all of elementary school, but then she wanted to start buying her lunches at school. But they're very secure, nothing leaks. You can put them in the dishwasher. Very secure seals. And to even make cleaning easier, you just pop this out, dishwasher. And they're like the perfect little portion size, especially for a kindergartner. And they're not gonna leak all over a lunch, a lunch bag. And they're not, and your, and the lunches aren't gonna get smushed. They're safe and sound in here. So if I can recommend anything to anybody, it's to get these little bento kids things. I, I when I got them back in the day, they were like new, so they were always sold out online. But I think you can get these at Target these days, or if not, hit it up on the Amazon. Alec will be utilizing these, and they actually have Bella's name on them. So I have to find his name sticker so we can cover that up. So let's get into some of the things that the kids got for back to school, shall we? Over the summer, Bella did birthday shopping 
and she didn't get a lot of summer things. She got a lot of jeans and a lot of shirts and sweatshirts. So we were good in that area. Um, she did want to get some like workout stuff or some leggings. So she got some cool leggings from American Eagle. Remember everything in the store was $9.99 below. Um, she got some like Gap sweatpants. She did get a pair of like classic super high rise jegging type of jeans. And she's obsessed with Smokey the Bear. Got her a lot of Smokey the Bear shirts over the summer. Um, but she found this sweatshirt. It's like a little crop top, but it's like an adult size, so it's not really crop top on her. But uh, we found this at Target. Then at Target, we got a lot of the basics like tank tops to wear under her crop top sweatshirts and such. And then, you know, like pantalones, essential. And then she wanted a pair of shoes that she could work out in. Um, for her birthday, she got a pair of checkered vans. And then she had another pair of like sketcher type tennis shoes that she wore to camp. And I don't know why she's like ignoring those. Like, I don't know, maybe they're embarrassing or something, but she doesn't really want to wear them. She, so she asked for a pair of Adidas. And we got these at the outlet mall. So there you go. Just simple little, little Adidas. And you guys, she's wearing the same size shoe that I wear. What? We got going on here for Alec. Um, a couple weeks ago, Target had a sale on kids shoes. It was like buy one, get one half off. I love the Cat and Jack brand. They have super cute things. And then always throughout the year, you gotta hit up them sales. You can find their shoes like under 10 bucks, like $6 pair of shoes. And maybe they're a little bit too big, but it doesn't matter because they're gonna grow into them eventually. I always get them. He has a bunch upstairs that he can grow into, but he wanted to pick out some shoes because Bella wanted some shoes. Um, I think this was the most expensive pair. I think they were 20 bucks. And I don't know <laughs> why yellow is on his mind, but they're cute. And they're like the little Velcros, so he can put them on himself, right? Here's another yellow pair that he liked a lot. And these were like $17, so half of $17 is how much these were. There you go. So cute. Little slip-ons. Like the lion face. Oh. Maybe this will be the last year where we could do cutesy little shoes like this for him. You never know. Growing up so fast. And so now we're into the clothes. Like I said, he had a lot of clothes already that I bought like years prior that he's just now starting to fit into. But we did get, you know, it's kindergarten. It's his first time going to school. So we had to do a little shop, okay? New pantalones, gotta have them. He has always been really slow in growth. He's just now fitting into like, he's five. He'll be six in October, but he's just now fitting into size five pants. But although they're really big in the waist and we have to cinch them in, I'm starting to notice that he's, his legs are growing and now they're starting to get short. So I got him some, some new pants, but I got him a size six slim. So hopefully this will help. We'll see how it goes. But I got him like a little mustard pair. I love this, this color for the fall. And I got him like a little pair of forest green chinos. And then just a little black pair of skinny jeans. I think these are skinny jeans. He got a bunch of basics too. You gotta always have your white t-shirts to wear underneath your sweatshirts. And then to change it up, I got him a couple grays. He loves the Story Pirates. So I got him a Story Pirates shirt. You gotta have the merch, y'all. You gotta represent Story Pirates. And then yesterday at Target, they were having a sale on kids' clothing and 
boy shirts. I think they were five bucks. So I got this cool pigeon shirt from the Story Pirates. They're always talking about their pigeon. Um, <laughs> so he liked that. And then this cool like dinosaur, like subway map guy. It reminded me of Japan and it's dinosaurs and that reminds me of Elec. So I thought that would be really cool. And then um, just like Bella, he wanted some soft clothes. He calls like workout leisure wear soft clothes. And he's a very cuddly guy, more than Bella, where he wants to like be cuddled and be comfortable and be soft. So <laughs> at the Gap Outlet, they had like, this is like a little hoodie. It's like so soft, you guys, oh my God. And then it had like little matching joggers. So cute. And then I just got him some long sleeves shirts because we live in the Pacific Northwest and he's gonna need those. Uh, a classic here. I thought this would look really cute with those mustard jeans. And then the one thing he picked out was the Superman sweatshirt. And then I got him like a camo gap. So all of the winter coats that we had, we got last year, they all fit. So I think we're good in that area. I'm only concerned about rain, like rain boots and umbrellas. That's really the only thing. Uh, but we'll figure that out as time goes by. So that's it guys. That's all for back to school. So the kids have two more weeks until they start. And this is the first time I'm gonna have two kids in school at the same time. And the school district here, uh, they don't have the same start date for all of the grades, all of the schools. There's three different start dates. So Bella starts the day after Alex starts. So that will be interesting. We'll see how that plays out. But thanks for stopping by and checking in on us. And we love and we miss you all. Bye.